Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Wilhelm Scream and welcome back to another day in Destiny 2 for some more Destiny 2 news and Beyond Light Season of the Lost Intel. And in this video, I'm going to be discussing the best way to farm out the fourth mark ship. This is an exotic ship available through the Season of the Hunt and a couple reasons why you probably want to get it as soon as possible as it will be gone after this season. We're going to be losing the Tangled Shore and most of the Season of the Hunt storyline around the Crow. I don't know where that's going. But in any case, the fourth mark is a pretty awesome looking ship. And that's the second reason why you probably want to get it now. Otherwise, who knows? There might be an opportunity to get things that are taken off the table as far as just like these kind of things, cosmetic stuff. Um, but in... Who knows when in the future that might happen. So I would suggest just get it while you can. And there are a few ways to actually farm this out that might make it a little bit more efficient. Um, a possible glitch, uh, conflicting reports, but we'll still discuss that. But to start off, what you need to do to actually get the fourth mark ship um, initially is you have to make the high celebrant mod available to you through the cryptolith lure through the season of the hunt uh, story campaign once you have your high celebrant mod uh, available put it into the cryptolith lure and then this mission the coupe de grace will become available to you in the um, dreaming city so you'll load that up, and you can do this uh, on three characters every week. Um, it only allows you to do it once per week, that is the High Celebrant mod uh, mission per character, but um, there is a way around that. So this is where I've heard conflicting things, but essentially there was a glitch, at least when this mission was first released that allowed you to um, dismantle the mod after it was equipped so you would um, insert it into the cryptolith lure and then reset the lure once you actually load it into the mission now funny enough this still uh, shows you with the lure equipped even if you delete it but it's not officially there so you don't lose the High Celebrant mod, uh, and it does allow you to run the mission over and over again. You can do this at any point once you've actually started the mission. So as you can see here, I'm already to this section before I actually reset the mod, but you'll see I'll be able to actually plant it uh, regardless. So I've actually placed the lure already, and then I'll go and I'll reset it. I can carry on to the end of the mission. Um, I believe that the ship is tied to the completion of the mission um, and not the boss kill. But in any case, the best way to probably farm this out every week would be to try it normally on two of your characters and then maybe on the third one try resetting it over and over again and see if that helps. Uh, I have done this both ways, meaning I've reset my lure and farmed it out for an entire day. I've done it every week, three times a week for quite some time now. I have still not gotten the exotic ship. So like I said, the RNG is very uh, iffy on this particular mission, so don't get... Um, too discouraged if you don't get it after the first maybe 10 tries. Some people I know get it on the first try. It's just the way things go. But in any case, this will at least give you um, a possible few more attempts uh, every week. Now, I'm not totally sure that the ship wasn't um, changed to maybe the actual turn in of the lure. Um, at the end of the mission uh, for the required drop of the ship. It might have been patched, but this is where I've heard conflicting things. 
Um, I've seen people who say they got it doing this method uh, a week ago or a few weeks ago and uh, other people who say it was patched. Um, I have not been able to actually find um, anything specifically uh, about that or if it was patched how. Um, but maybe you could and if you do please leave a uh, comment down below. I'd love to actually know for certain. But in any case, that's how you can farm it out at least three times a week, now until the end of the season. Again, I don't know if any of these ships, uh, the exotic ships that have been tied to the last year, will be available after this season, um, as far as just, you know, uh, being able to be purchased through like a kiosk or something like that, through a, some alternate quest or version of this. But hopefully you can get your hands on it before the season actually ends. So you don't have to wait until that possible future date when they may become available again. Hopefully you found something in this video helpful. I'm going to let the rest of this gameplay keep going. But uh, I do want to inform everybody that we're doing another giveaway on my YouTube channel. The next one will be at 55,000 subscribers. If you've made it this far, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel to be entered into that giveaway at 55,000. We're doing a Witch Queen Seasonal Pass Deluxe giveaway. So hopefully we get to about 55,000 before um, the actual new content drops so that nobody actually misses out on any of that you can also follow me on instagram or twitter for another entry into that giveaway they'll be listed in the description box down below or you can leave a hashtag beyond light or a hashtag season of the lost or a hashtag witch queen in the comment section down below that'll give you another entry into that giveaway, those uh, can be done on all videos, those hashtags. So if you haven't done this on a previous piece of content, please remember to go back, check out another video, and of course, do it again. And as always, I am Wilhelm Scream. We will see you next time. Little!